the very first portion of this video is just in terms of getting your home screens back into the default setting that that was right out of the box. And so I don't know if you guys have ever had a friend who you know messed up your phone or a son or daughter who deletes everything uh, or if you're at a cell phone store and a customer comes in and just messes up all your demo devices, uh, this is actually where you can get it back all the way where it was out of the box. So you hit on the menu, settings, and then you're going to scroll down into the application manager. And then underneath the application manager, scroll over to where it says all. Then scroll all the way down into your TouchWiz home. So if nobody knows what TouchWiz means, TouchWiz is the UI that Samsung uses. And so here is the TouchWiz home. And when you go into here, just clear the data. So you hit clear data, hit OK. So basically what you just did is you cleared everything that the home screens were saved to then you hit home and now everything will be saved just the way it was from the very very get go from when you got your phone out of the box so you got all your apps back into normal all the widgets are there you got your seven home screens back again you know two finger on it scroll down this is where you can edit all the pages again if you if need be so you can delete you know if you don't need all seven home screens and there you go this portion right here is to show you how you can customize your lock screen options. So I had a few responses where someone messaged me about, hey, how do you change your lock screen options? Or how do you create folders inside of your app tray and folders on home screens? This is how you do it. So number one, you notice that the ripple effect is on the home screen. Let's say you want to keep it on or take it off. Or you want to change some of the, the shortcuts on your lock screen. Go to Menu, Settings. Then you're going to go all the way into your lock screen. Underneath lock screen, this is where you can change your, your screen lock. If you want to have it swipe or motion, your face unlock, pattern, things like that. I always keep it on swipe. Um, then here is your lock screen options. This is where you can have your shortcuts on or off. And if you want to change your shortcuts, just click it. And let's say that I want to change my, I don't know, the S note into maybe chat on because I use chat on all the time and maybe oh maybe I want to add another one so maybe the contacts and so it's a way that you can do this you hit the back icon um, here's the ripple effect if you want to have it on or off and then also you have your camera quick access this is where you can turn it on or off and what happens is when you tap on the screen and you turn it horizontally then it'll open up your camera quick access right away so first off, let me show you what my lock screen looks like now. You can see that I have five icons on the bottom. Everything looks like normal. And then with the camera quick access, you press and hold, turn it horizontally, and it goes straight into your camera. And so that is how the lock screen options work. The other thing I'd like to show you is how you create a folder onto your normal home screen. Let's go to Menu, Create Folder, and let's say we name it Games. So I named it Games, and these right here, let's just per se they are games. Let's see, I'm gonna press and hold, put it in there, press and hold, put it in there. And this is exactly how easy it is and now in this folder right here is these icons. Now let's say you want to take them back off. You just put them back onto the home screen and you can edit it however you want to. And let's say that you don't want this folder here anymore, just go to remove and now you're back to normal again. Now what about inside of here where you just have a whole bunch of random applications that you're never ever going to use. One of the things that I've actually done at one point was I went to create folder after I hit the menu and settings. And let's say you want to call it random. Then inside of here what you want to do is you now created the folder. <clears throat> now you hit the menu and you want to go to edit. Now inside of here is where you can input all of the random stuff that you may use or not use this way you can consolidate all of your home screens to where you know as many folders as you want and then the same thing as before oops I'm sorry this is where you will actually go back into the apps menu edit inside of here and then this is where you will take them back out and now that you're done let's say that you're done with editing it you just go back to the back icon, and there you go. Now, how about you want to delete something extremely quick? So you downloaded an app that you no longer want on your phone. This is one way you can do it. Menu, uninstall, and you just select the one that you want off. 
and now it has been installed. So that's a way that you can do it without going all the way into your app manager. So this is some of the tips and tricks that I have with your home screen with folders, the, the, the lock screen options, and then also the app tray of folders. This last portion I wanted to include is actually still pertaining to your home screens. And they're very small tips, really cool. Hopefully they kind of help out your life, make it a little bit easier. So the first thing I want to show off is going to be with those little dots. Those represent your home screens. If you want to switch from home screen to home screen, things like that, you just press and hold on the dots, and then you scroll it left to right extremely fast, and that is where you can find what you're looking for extremely quick. Now another, another thing you can do is let's say that you want to add a home screen or delete a home screen or, or anything like that. You just hit your menu, go to edit page. This is where it shows everything that you have. So let's say you want to add a page or I don't know, maybe even delete a page. It's all up to you, whatever you want to do. What you can do is you also notice that there is a little blue home that is on this page right here. So let's say that you want to change your, your home page. You just hit the little blue home and once it is illuminated blue that is representing your home screen so if you are checking out this screen right here and once you hit the home icon or the home button this is where it will take you or let's say that you want to go faster and you don't want to hit the menu and then hit the edit page this is how you can do it two fingers on the home screen scroll it down and there you go